What is up guys and welcome back to Rams TV. So for today we have yet another Mortal Kombat 1 leak video and for today's video we have some pretty crazy news about some characters that at this point are 100% confirmed to be coming as DLC. But anyways before we get into any of that, like always make sure to smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. So with that being said let's get right into the video. Alright guys so there's some pretty crazy stuff that happened just a few days ago and this all comes from this leaker right here which as you can see is interloco a lot of you might know him as he has leaked and data mined quite a few things and has gotten it all correct and uh, i'm saying leak but really he's a data miner if you don't know what data mining is it's when you go into a game's files and extract information from there uh, most of the time it could be upcoming information in this case what he did was data mine mk1 and see the dlc characters that are already listed in the game's files so he actually uploaded this video which as you can see says next mortal kombat 1 dlc 100 percent confirmed and it was uploaded by himself interloco and here he goes over the characters that as you can tell by the title are 100 100 confirmed to be coming as dlc so you might be thinking all right so who is it and no worries because i got it for you right here uh so as you can see this is a reddit post uh, where someone replied to the video post itself and they said, okay, so I see there's a lot of confusion, and as a native Spanish speaker, let me put this straight. Uh, if you don't know why he's saying that, it's because Interloco himself is a Spanish speaker, so he, the video actually isn't Spanish, but uh, this guy here, as you can see, kind of gave us the most important uh, parts of it. So he says, the six DLC characters to this day that are 100% confirmed, these are the ones that are 100% confirmed, are Cyrax, Sector, Noob, Conan, Ghostface, and T-1000, which are all names that we've heard in many leaks before and other data mines, so it definitely lines up with what we've been hearing so far. And it looks like as of now, those six are 100% confirmed. They were found in the game's files, and at this point are all but confirmed and just waiting to be revealed. He goes on to say, the other names you watch on the list there are placeholders, so Interloco can track into that file if there's any of those names shown. So uh, for anyone who doesn't know what he's talking about, he's referring to the video, because in the video, he actually had a list with a lot of names, much more than six. And um, the reason why is being explained now, that he had those like as placeholders. So he says there are some day one references shown, such as Jade, Cassie, etc. But there is no evidence of them being a part of a future release so far. So at this point, the only names that you have to focus on one more time are Cyrex, Sector, Noob, Conan, Ghostface, and T-1000. Those are the six 100% confirmed DLC characters to be coming to MK1. So honestly, at this point, I am all but just waiting for the reveal. I already knew that we were going to get something like that. Uh, T-1000 is kind of a shock. I have seen them in other leaks and data mines, but actually getting him, you know, kind of crazy. I guess they wanted to keep the Terminator trend going from MK11 to MK1 which is absolutely fine with me because Terminator himself in MK11 was amazing. So I'm so down to get another Terminator character. But anyway, guys, let me know all your thoughts and opinions on this in the comment section down below. Are you happy we're getting these six characters as DLC? Why or why not? And if you could switch out anyone, who would you switch out? Let me know all that in the comment section down below. Other than that, thank you for watching. Make sure to stay subscribed for more videos like this one and peace.